I'm Chuck Fisher in Redwood City where a big rivalry game is the Enersports.net Game of the Week for Week 11. It's a battle between Sacred Heart Prep and Menlo School and it's not a long-standing rivalry. These teams have been playing each other every year for the past eight years, but to add a little sizzle to this rivalry game, for the first time ever, it's being played under the lights. It's the battle for a trophy. They call it the Valparaiso Bowl as the Gators and Knights clashing under the lights on the campus of Sequoia High School. First quarter, Tyler McCool, cool name, great game. Nice big gainer and a first down for Sacred Heart Prep. They keep it moving. They move it all the way down to the goal line. John Geary, the quarterback, sneaks it in for a 7-0 lead for the Sacred Heart Prep Gators. Still in the first quarter, the Gators inch their way down the field with that tough running game. When they get down in there close, they give it to their running back, Pedro Robinson. He punches it in for another touchdown. 14-0, Sacred Heart Prep. Move to the second quarter. The Menlo Knights have been pretty quiet, but they would ignite their crowd when Robert Wickers hits Philip Anderson for a big gainer. Later, Wickers would hook up with his best receiver, Tim Benton. The drive would stall though, still 14-0 Sacred Heart Prep. Sacred Heart Prep now has the ball in the second quarter. John Geary to Tomas O'Donnell. And the big rangy six foot four receiver goes 57 yards for a touchdown. Sacred Heart Prep looks like they're gonna run away with it. It's already 21-0 in the second quarter. Late second half, inside two minutes. Menlo trying to get something going, but they can't do it. Wickers intercepted by Fatu Tupo in the red zone. Sacred Heart Prep leads 21-0 at halftime. Right after halftime, Menlo shows some life. On their first possession, Tim Benton, he's the receiver and their punter on fourth and three they run a fake punt and he scampers for a first down that lights a fire under the Knights because on the next play Wickers buys a little time finds his running back Bo Nichols a tough 12 yard gain inside the 10 but then the very next play Wickers back to pass again but he's picked off by Robert Ojeda that's a drive killer another red zone interception on the ensuing possession after the interception it's another long march by the Sacred Heart Prep Gators. And they give it to none other than Pedro Robinson to finish it off up the gut for a nine yard touchdown run on third and eight. Robinson finished with 105 yards and two touchdowns on the night. That gave Sacred Heart Prep a 28-0 lead. They go on to win 35 to seven.